Well, man, free time is so precious. When you finally get a few minutes, you'd probably rather do something other than update your software. For thousands of people, Secure Updater is the way to go. Here to compute this, Thor Schrock from Schrock Innovations. Good to see what you, Thor. What is Hi. free time? Free time. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was trying Married to father of two. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I get it. no. Uh -huh. you know, you have, you're spending your time watching the Oscars, like last night. We, we spent time watching. You watched watch that? that? Oscars? You watched that? Well, we I had to. Say, yeah. It was, it was no, work I didn't. research. No. Yeah, yeah. I tell my it was, I had, it was my job. I had to, I had to for do it. work. Yeah. Uh, so, what is the one thing if you have some time out there? What's the one thing that people can do to uh, secure their computer aside from all this antivirus stuff? Because that seems to take Ooh. a lot of time too. You blew me up there because the first thing I was going to be like, get some antivirus. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. uh, but assuming you have the antivirus situation covered, um, the next most important thing you can do is all, all of our computers run programs, right? And so we, a lot of times I'll call this stuff third-party software, and sometimes I get lost in my own jargon. You know, I'm like, oh, it's third-party software that needs to be updated on a regular basis. And everyone's like, what's a third-party software? Is it a fun party? I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. But uh, basically, when you buy your computer, it comes with Windows and a bunch of bloatware that whatever company you bought it from pre-installed on there, you know, because games and trials and things like yeah. that. But then you have certain pieces of software that allow you to do things on the Internet, like Adobe Flash Player or Adobe Reader or Java that allows websites, menus, and stuff to work properly. If you don't have those components installed on the computer, you, the internet experience isn't going to be very good. And so companies, they want you to have a good experience with their computer, so they pre-install all that stuff. And they all have their own internal updaters, and they pop up and say, oh, there's an update available. The trouble is, though, we've all been trained now. When something pops up on the screen that we didn't ask for, we immediately distrust it. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my customers, and rightfully so, so a lot of my customers will actually just ignore those pop-ups saying it's time to update this or it's time to update that. They just ignore it. And it's getting to the point now where if you have this outdated software, these third-party programs, programs that you didn't install, your computer manufacturer didn't make, but there are other stuff that you need to have mm -hmm. on the computer, if these get out of date, it's a, it's a super highway into your computer for bad guys. So you really need to keep those up to date. Unfortunately, there's about 30 of them. Yeah, yeah so and you call that stuff bloatware? Is that what you call it? Well, that's not bloatware. The, no, the bloatware, bloatware is like when you go buy a new cool HP computer and you get a free trial of like Aces High Poker on right, it, right. and you, you you don't really play poker, and so right. you, you it's stuff bloatware. You yeah, it's stuff that yeah. the Aces High Poker company whatever well, paid. What kind of deal? With, yeah. yeah, I fall into that category of people who mistrust the box that pops up because I feel like, listen, I don't want to get taken. If this is a bad guy, I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. So what's this easiest way? I know that you recommend to your customers. Or secure updater. Yeah. How does it work? Well, secure updater is pretty neat in that when a new update comes out, we see it in the service center. And then we update our secure updater website to say, hey, there's a new version of Java out today. And then secure updater, once every eight hours, it's a little program that runs on your computer. It uses hardly any resources. It runs all the time. Mm -hmm. But the only time it ever does anything is about every eight hours, it sends a little ping up to our server. Ping! It says, are there any new programs? And nope, there's no new updates. Okay, we can stay green and everything is great. But if it says, yes, there's a new program, Secure Updater jumps into action. Of course, it asks your permission, which we felt was very important. You know, is it okay for Secure Updater to download a program? You might be doing something, you don't want to mess with it right mm -hmm. now. So you can say no, and it, it'll stop. But if you say yes, then it'll go get that Java program from our server, download it automatically. You don't have to try to track down where you downloaded it on the computer or find it to install it, because it then installs it for you. But then it also installs it silently, and automatically. So you don't even have to touch a button. Once Secure Updater is going, it'll get all that stuff downloaded and updated for you. The average computer has at least 12 programs that are out of date right now. So the, the average viewer watching this segment right now has as many as 12 programs on their computer that are out of date that are making them more vulnerable. If you ever wondered, I have antivirus, how did I get a virus? Outdated third-party software is usually the reason. Yeah, so if you have Secure Updater, and we'll tell people how to get a copy of that or how to get that on their computer, but if you have that, you only have to click the Secure Updater. Do you want to update? Um, you don't even have to click some, that. So you it just checks it every run. eight hours automatically. Mm -hmm. yep. That's great. Yeah, so you're not so worried are, about anything that pops up as long as it says Secure Updater. Yeah. You, will you be getting those pop-ups anymore? Uh, no, actually, well, actually, if everything is up to date, the pop-ups never happen. Gotcha. Um, so a lot of times when we have computers in for a maintenance checkup, mm -hmm. if they have Secure Updater, all these programs have these like update automatically little partner programs mm -hmm. and we disable all those so they're not running and soaking up your computer's memory all the time mm -hmm. so the computer actually runs a lot faster when you get it back the, you know we adopted a traffic light system red means it's either doing an update or it needs to do an update and green means everything is okay you're, clear. you're, good. you're good to go yeah uh, our viewers we were looking at that website you might have seen it when it, it popped up earlier 
Uh, can you can you download Secure Updater from this site? Do you have to call? Do you have to take your computer into one of the shops? Sure. How do we you get it? You can bring it in if you want to. Um, any new computer that we build comes with a trial of Secure Updater mm -hmm. Belt. But the easiest way to get it is to go to secureupdater.com, and you can download actually a free trial. Um, and there's a no strings attached free trial. You don't have to give us a credit card or give the website a credit card number. And you know you can just try it out. You install it. It runs for two weeks. Um, so if you want, if you're curious, if you want to see how many mm -hmm. programs you have out of date right now, down go to secureupdater.com and download cool. that that little updater program, and it'll go through your computer and update everything. It'll run for two weeks, and at the end of two weeks, it pops up and says, "Okay, Bucko, time to buy it." Time to Annie up. <laughs> yep. And then you, you like can it, yeah. you can choose to buy it. You can buy it online through PayPal. It's very secure. Or mm -hmm. you can just call our service center and we can do it over the phone. It's on sale right now, though, Thor. So it is. for our viewers who know what it's about, they understand the value. How much are we saving this week? Well, let's just say I wouldn't wait for the full two week trial <laughs> <laughs> because then sale will be over and you'll spend $25 more, but it's half off right now. That's so if you don't so normally, it today, you'd have some time to use it yeah, and decide so if you want to buy it. Secure Updater is two bucks a month right now on special. You know, it's a monthly thing. So in other words, you pay for a full year up front, you pay 25 bucks. And then every year it's a $25 renewal. But for $2 a month, if you total up how much time you would spend every single day, there's an update. It's every a no, day. No brainer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I no mean, you're going to spend so much time just keeping track mm -hmm. of all of it that two bucks a month is an afterthought. Or the cost of having something go wrong because you yeah. weren't pushing the right buttons. Yeah, getting a virus, that's a little more than two bucks a month. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Thor. Thanks, guys. It's great Thanks, to see Bob you.